Bay. In the Little Bay, we have a very one and a half miles coastline. We use 30, 30 kilometers of road. We have a very high cliffs to the sandy beach area. This is in September of 1969. In 1972, we, ran, we saw that large valley curtain in the state of Colorado and the western slope on the Rocky Mountains and life of Colorado is the size of Brooklyn Bridge, 360 feet on the main foundation and 180 feet in the center. In 1972, we finished the running fence with the uh, uh, 20 feet tall, 26 in, uh, 24 miles fence running to Sonoma in Marine County, north of San Francisco, about a half a mile to the Bay and Pacific Ocean. Now, all this project that we have at scale, the little people here to see how big is the fence, and all this project get temporary. After two weeks, all the materials are moved in the two-cylinder cycle. In 1978, we did the Rap Walkway. This is an intimate project in Loose Park and Kansas City, Missouri, where we cover two and a half miles walkway with the golden fabric and autumn day and forage of the three tractors change with the forage with the color of the fabric. And of course, in 1983, we're around. Uh, and uh, you know very well the fabric was floating uh, 220 feet on the surface of the water attached to the beach area. And it was the 11 hours and seven, May, seven miles long from the north to the south. In 1985, we wrapped the oldest bridge in Paris upon them. We put this champagne color fabric. For two weeks in September, the bridge was even littered with the government of France because it's an historical landmark. And in 1980, 1991, we finished the project Dome Brothers, joint project for Japan and the United States. There is 1,342 blue brothers of Japan and 1,760 yellow brothers in Southern California near Los Angeles. Each umbrella was 20 feet tall, 25 feet diameter. In Japan, we even have 30, 90 umbrella. Next slide, please. In oh, okay. uh, 1995, after 25 years, and uh, three refusal, finally we wrapped the rice right with this silver color fabric. The all the parliament of Germany and the Reichstag right stay for two, two weeks, two, 14 days, and over five million people come to see the Reichstag. Right Next, please. Problems. Some problems with machines. Some problems with machines. He's a stuck. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you see the Reichstag is the great uh, place on Berlin. You have a, this is view from above. The Reichstag was the most visited project. Five million people come to see the Reichstag. You have the Brandenburg Gate. In 1998, we did the 178 Rap Tree and the Fundacion Biner and Berover Park. We have a sunny day, we have a winter. And we have a sunset. And in 1990, 1990, after 26 years, we finally, in 2005, we realized the gate. 7,503 gates and 23 miles walk in Central Park. We have a sunny day. The gate was always 20 feet tall, but the width of the gate was varying with the width of the walkway. Some by 10 feet, some by 18 feet. And was late February, and I remember Jacques was not sure that we have a snow, but even we have a snow. <laughs> and this is view of the center part uh, and stuff down to Manhattan. And the 19 and now the many years starting in the late 50s, living in Paris, I started to work with Barrows. I have exhibition in Germany just when Berlin was built in 1961. And I did project my poetical response of Berlin Wall and the small street in Paris, Rivers County, I installed 100 barrels barricading the uh, street. Rivers County cannot travel to that, not pass to that, and that was my iron curtain. I did a number of works with barrels. This is the sculpture called like a mastaba down the museum in Milano. This is another work. Now, this is in 1967. We start to work proposing to do the master bar. 
Mastaba is all geometric form, 7,000 years old, from the urban, first urban civilization, when the, we know, archaeologists know, that the people built benches who have a two vertical side, two slanted sides, um, and flat stop, uh, for, uh, stop that he can sit in that geometric form, it's called the Mastaba. We never get permission to the Mastaba in Texas. We tried to do it at Hall in 1972, and finally, we arrived in the Middle East, in Abu Dhabi. When Abu Dhabi would like to build the probably, if it's happened, more one, not too fast. <laughs> the largest sculpture ever built. This is the scale model. I did it in 1979. It's structure 150 meters high. The vertical wall, 225 meters slanted lower, and 300 meters high will be built by 410,000 oil bar with 10 different colors. This is the little car here, affecting the sun in the Middle East, in Abu Dhabi, in the um, early 80s. And um, we are now, and, uh, this is the last time we're going to on the side, working on the project, the next. And now, all this project involves enormous engineering, and this is why we Try to find the brain, the many, many engineers, professor. We had to tap in with the professor Zazaki from Hussein, we say Tokyo, who advises us how to build the barracks. Professor Zazaki said the most difficult time of that project is to build, to put 410,000 things vertically. And Professor Schlein, the next image, by me, now, Professor Schlein from the University of Berlin designed this incredible, nothing in the world will build like the Mastaba. Mastaba 410,000 barrels there on that flat surface. And Professor Schleier decided that entire structure, this is 75 feet wall of surface, sitting on thousand, hundreds of railroad tracks. An entire project will be in fall and two weeks. This is why I'm working now. We're working non-stop on that project, actually. But we was talking yesterday, immediately. <laughs> this is how the master by me. This is the great bit of pyramid of Jesus. Interesting enough to give a footnote. Without knowing, the footprint of Mastaba is the dimension of Berlini Square and Vatican. Oh. Now, returning back, without Jean Claude, we try to orient at the, the site of the Mastaba against the sun with the sun's light, and this is all that we work in the last years. Here you have the footprint of Mastaba on the side of the project. You have a little car there, and now we show you how the Mastaba will move up. This is the height of the Mastaba, little balloon. Now, I spent time discussing the project with the community in Abu Dhabi, to the Women's College, to the different, different people. Next, please. And this is one of the last drawings to say the project is built about 150 kilometers south, inland in Abu Dhabi, one of the most beautiful desert near oasis of river they call the empty port. Next, please. To, deal, to, to explain on the side, this is, I did a temporary work so far in the museum in Germany, where we stand all 11,000 barrels in the enormous uh, uh, museum atrium. And we can see this project from down. You take the elevator, you can see the illustration of these 13,000 barrels from above. Next, please. This is one of the first drawings of floating Mastaba we tried to do, never serialized in the United States, Lake Michigan in 1967. But, next. But we start to work to install 7,503 barrels, barrels in the Serpentine Lake in Long Hyde Park in London. And that project was built just to see you. This is the how project was existing for the last summer. The sunny days is that the, these barrels are literally floating in a special structure, anchored with many anchors that can move, actually moving with the movement of the water. The next place. The next. This is the last project, actually. Right now, we are removing the project for Hyde Park stay for two months and now we come to the last work we did it on Lake Iseo in, in, uh, in Italy. The one important part to understand some of this project, wait a moment, by me, 
Some of these projects, they designed it for a particular site, like the gates was for Central Park, or the uh, surrounded island was designed for the, here, for the islands and Biscayne Bay. But some projects, we have a concept, like the valley curtain in Colorado, or running fence, or the umbrellas, and we need to find the site. This is one of the first proposal to do the floating periodical walk, and that is in 1970 for the Delta of Rio de la Plata in Argentina. We never get permission. <laughs> but the idea is very, very much on us. We do many, many projects. But in 1995, after the rise, the example was here. Now we, we lost chance to do it in Argentina. Why not do it in Japan? But we have many friends, we did the umbrellas, and we started to do the project. We almost did it. And Tokyo Bay, an area of Daiba, we have a big fight with the city of Tokyo, he will not, we cancelled the project. And Jan Wood passed away in 2009, and I tell to my nephew and friends that I, she loved so much that project, and we tried to do something of that project before I passed away. <laughs> and, and I live, when I live it, when I live it in Paris between 58 and, 58 and 64, we are, I did a bit in Italy, I did project in Italy, and I think why we don't go back to Italy to find lakes? And we find that we are familiar with all the lakes in Italy, the foot of the Alps, and we find that that little lake, Iseo, when you have an island, and the biggest, the tallest islands of Southwater Lake in Europe, is the 500 meter high, and is the uh, there are 2,000 people on that island, and to go to the mainland, they need to have a, a ferry box, the ghetto, and for 60 days, they will walk in the water. And this is how the project starts. We get the permission very fast, usually. The project will stop over thousands of uh, this specially designed cube, actually 220,000 uh, specially designed cube. They screw together with giant screw, we stop there are 200 anchors in the bay to have the geometry of the, uh, of the floating pier. Floating cubes, they are 60 meters long, but actually five, two and a half meters each side, stopping like a beach in the river, central anchor, additional anchor. And this is how the project stay at the position. We need to have even, this is how the anchors were transported. With these airbags, this is five tons of anchor in this airbag. They put down our divers connected to the, uh, to the kind of upper part of the cubes and the project starts to move to a very precise, uh, very long uh, process. Now we have a, our uh, working yard is here. From there they move each hundred, this is 100 feet of this 60 meter wide, 100 feet long uh, uh, floating pier. They move after that to the side when the, our divers and workers start to preparing arrival of the fabric. Oh this is that uh, cube was connected. Next, this is how the, um, the, this kept a big floating path was moved. We have a helicopter deliver special uh, fabric to be installed before our uh, Dahlia colored yellow fabric. The fabric was installed by 600 workers over the night. And finally, this uh, satellite photo, the project was installed. We moved some of the pictures. The project stays 16 days, and that beautiful place and lake is here. We have 1,250,000 people in 16 days. And in the show, there was also two and a half kilometers of pedestrian uh, street cover with that yellow fabric. And we, next, we meet. And we have an even special light fabricated in Los Angeles. We moved this special light that was installed in the late afternoon that the people they are still walking in the floating pier, even in the evening. Oh, Next. Oh, Next. Oh, and here is how the people walk. Now, important is to understand, this is only project can happen in Italy. You know how deep is that lake? That lake is here deep, 300 feet. Another height is 700 feet deep. There are no rail. There are no rail. Look at that. No handrails. 
Thank you very much. I try to understand, and I answer questions.